student, uh, welcome to VTV section of program. Uh, last class we have studied uh, composting, uh, mechanical composting process and uh, then after this we will go for a vermicomposting. Okay. This vermicomposting nowadays uh, lot of people using this composting. This is called, uh, uh, this one, this is also called organic composting. Okay. And uh, this is uh, uh, not uh, uh, so cost, okay. cost wise it is cheap and uh, we have to, the uh, ohms are using for the manufacturing of this composting. Okay. Uh, vermicomposting is the product of a decomposition process using the various species okay, uh, of worms, usually red vehicles, white worms and other earthworms. Majorly in India we are using the earthworms. Hybrid worms from the out of the countries also nowadays we are using uh, to decompose more and more uh, this food waste, okay, bidding material vermica. This process is called vermicomposting. In one word we say worms are used for uh, decompose of uh, this uh, food material or vegetable or anything. Final product is vermicompost, okay. This mechanical composting directly we are uh, doing the compost without any decomposition or anything. Okay. In this worms will eat the uh, this materials and uh, their excreta becomes the compost. This is the process. This is called vermicompost. This also uh, we are telling now that uh, this we are called uh, organic compost. Okay. Nowadays we are using this uh, compost as organic compost. Then uh, for, from that we will grow organic vegetable, organic uh, fruits, everything. It has great demand because we are not using any chemical. Okay, it is free from the chemical in vermicompost. Chemicals are not used. Okay, did not use. We are not using the chemicals. So it is the uh, uh, the grown uh, fruits and uh, vegetables or uh, anything free from uh, chemicals. So, this is called organic fruits or organic vegetables. It have great demand in the market, costlier than the uh, other fruits and uh, the which is uh, grown by this chemical compost. Okay. We will go for the next slide. You understood uh, dear student, you understood vermicomposting, worms are used, earthworms majorly, okay, red wiggles and white worms are used. Okay, next we will go for. Okay, this is a vermicompost bin. Okay, this is a vermicompost bin. Uh, in this we will. Uh, uh, these are the materials, food waste and uh, vegetable waste, and everything uh, are mixed. Okay, this is only organic uh, waste material. Please understand. Other all materials is segregated. Food waste it may be vegetable waste or anything, this waste and worms are left, worms are left, okay, worms, they will grow, okay, they will, by, uh, they will grow, they will eat the nutrient of that, they will grow, they will reproduce more and more population increase, worms population increase more and more day by day, okay, then they will eat everything there, extra and final decomposing is a vermicompost. This is one of the method, okay. this is a bin, okay. easily we can do in our uh, nearby houses or in a kitchen waste or anything. Okay. In a small way we can do, it is a small process of uh, vermicomposting. Okay. In this we have to maintain the moisture also, the temperature, everything. We have to spray the water, okay. all that method I will tell you clearly. I will. I uh, explain you, this is the process of uh, okay, vermicomposting bin. Okay. Next slide, we will, uh, these are the suitable worms, you can see the worms here. Okay. This is the earthworm, you are using, uh, you all know that earthworm, uh, earthworm have a major capacity. You see the cow dung, uh, when it, uh, the night any cow dung or in the morning you can see that it becomes soil. Okay, that is the one they have the power okay, uh, uh, biodegradation and uh, they make a soil that is the very uh, manure compost organic manure. Same way this uh, earthworms, 
there are uh, different types of earthworms ok. Uh, in India we are uh, 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 these earthworms are there some other country from China from Africa different different worms I will tell the names of that worms. These worms are uh, put to the ok bin or uh, small scale or uh, small larger scale they will grow ok. They will grow, they will reproduce more and more their population increase, they will become active active and they will eat this and their final excreta become the compost. Then it is dried ok, then it is sewed and then it is packed that is have the good rate in uh, you can see in Google or uh, Google search or anywhere you can see different rates of the this compost, vermi compost, the lot of companies in this uh, work ok, lot of organic manuals, lot of demand for this compost ok, next. See suitable worms are we can see different types of worms uh, from uh, 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 outer countries ok, not only from India see red earthworm or dying china, tiger worm, red wiggles ok, these are the hybrid worms they can eat more and more waste ok, their size is more and uh, they will uh, they will reproduce more, they increase their size and ok, these are the hybrid worms uh, we are using nowadays, we are using these worms uh, for the production uh, this uh, manufacturing of a uh, vermi compost ok, uh, Indian earthworm are very small and uh, they cannot digest more and uh, their uh, population is also less. So, these are the worms, hybrid worms they, they long source red earthworm ok, tiger worm ok, some of the worms are there, Istina festida ok and uh, European night waggles, these are the worms, hybrid worms, we are using this worm for the manufacturing of vermi composting. You all know suitable worms, one of the most uh, species most often used composting is uh, tiger worm or uh, red wiggles ok, red earthworm or delongs chena. Uh, is another used worm can be used, but uh, does not adapt well as shallow compost bin does not, Essinephidia, ok, Phytia, European night waggles are the may be used. One of the problem of these worms is uh, they have different different temperature, they will stand with the different temperature, some will die ok, some will, will grow in uh, heavier uh, this, uh, uh, this um, mesophilic temperature and uh, some will uh, thermophilic, see some uh, grow uh, above uh, 65 degree Celsius, some will die uh, 65 degree or uh, 35, depend upon the temperature, this is a very important ok, temperature, colder region, cold region some uh, worms are used in um, uh, the, uh, where there is a uh, horse uh, sunlight or uh, ok, that region like India ok, coastal uh, the areas or anywhere, different worms are used depend upon the climatic condition ok, temperature and uh, moisture everything these uh, worms are used ok, nowadays we are using these worms ok, adapt from the other countries also ok, hybrid worms we are using for vermi compost. These are the important, they will play important role in vermi composting ok, these worms will play important role in vermi composting ok. I have shown the this also ok. This in a kitchen or uh, near uh, house uh, this this is the uh, bin or a box plastic box or anything ok, small one ok, small way small scale vermi composting. See worms are you can see in the drawings ok, worms are left uh, in this food waste and everything ok, this large quantity of worms they will eat, they make a compost ok. It may take uh, 45 days depend, if you add the uh, slurry, cow dung slurry or anything it may, uh, worms will grow more and more and if you grow more population increase it may uh, 30 days or uh, 25 days it may be, it, it will take time, large scale it will take 45 days ok, time depend upon uh, this one ok, how you are adding the worms for the food for for the worms and how you will keep the moisture and everything you will depend upon the ok. This is the small scale vermi composting. Vermi composting uh, at the home, 
houses and uh, large variety of bins commercially available. This bins easily you can uh, uh, may, uh, uh, this uh, we can do the vermicomposting in our house. This is one of the very important. Uh, if you do the vermicomposting in a house, uh, we can then uh, swachha bharat or clean and neat. We can keep our area clean and neat. Okay, uh, then uh, it may be plastic container. In that also we can do the vermicompost. Okay, and wood container. In in that also, okay, styrofoam. Okay, metal container. These are the small bin usually used for uh, store the uh, bin used for the uh, which uh, feed the worms and it can be used for wormy composting. Okay, these are the small bin. Already I shown this bin. Okay, this is made up of. Okay, this is a plastic bin. Okay, for wood also you can add uh, any plastic everything. This type bin we can uh, use for uh, making the wormy composting. Okay, uh, in the houses. Okay, if you do that, uh, it is uh, very helpful. We can keep clean environment. Okay, uh, transportation of uh, this one in every houses. If we do the wormy composting in a bin or anything, transportation of waste and storage and uh, okay collection, everything will be less. So it is helpful. Okay, my suggestion is to this uh, wormy composting is a good process. You can do it in a home houses and uh, it may be in a flat or in balcony. Your small bin you can use a food waste there. And you leave the worms; it will be uh, uh, compost, and it can be used for uh, your gardening or your uh, any pots and anything. That uh, uh, composting can be used. Okay. Most common worms uh, today we are using red worms. Okay, uh, temperature about 25 degree to uh, 15 degree to uh, 25 degree. Okay, they can survive 10 degree also. Temperature above. 30 degree harmful. We are using this worm, okay, red worms, okay. Uh, temperature 15 degree to 25 degree Celsius. They can survive at 10 degree also, but temperature above 30 degree harmful to them, okay. Harmful to them. This is very important, okay. Uh, this temperature then means indoor uh, composting within red worm possible, okay. See, that is uh, one of the important in uh, cold region. These worms will uh, will not survive. Okay, that's the important cold region. This manufacture of worm composting is less. Okay, uh, in uh, like uh, European countries, some country uh, like India, some uh, of the countries uh, like uh, uh, Canada. So many. I will uh, tell the countries which are uh, doing this worm composting. In cold European country, this compost are uh, this manufacturing of compost are less because. Uh, uh, worms will die. It will take long uh, period to make the composting. So this uh, cold region, uh, this is very difficult. Okay, uh, uh, like see, this is the temperature range means that indoor wormy composting red worms is possible, but uh, all the uh, tropical climates. Other worm like to excavate the are the suitable worms climates. If the worm been kept outside, it should be placed at the Sheltered position away from direct sunlight and insulate against the frost in winter. Okay, this uh, this is the process of uh, temperature maintaining in the uh, this one. Okay, this is the large scale, large scale worm composting. Nowadays, many companies will do this uh, worm composting near the dump yard. Okay, lot of company you can see different companies name in a Google. If you put in a Google search, sorry, Google search. You will see lot of company names online available. This organic composting or wormy composting. Okay, this is very very important wormy composting. Everyone can do this wormy composting in household, uh, in house, in apartment, in villas, anywhere we can do in a small size and bigger size also. We can do in a okay large size wormy composting. See, large size is very important wormy composting. Okay, large scale worm composting in practice in Canada, Italy, Japan, India, Malaysia, Philippines, and United States. Okay, these are the countries they are practice large scale. This one, this uh, okay in Canada, in Italy, in Japan, India, Malaysia, Philippines, and uh, United States. Okay, this uh, worm composting may be used for farming, 
landscaping create the most uh, compost teas or for sale okay some of these operation produce the worm bit okay home wormy composting okay this we can sell the worm in this also uh, grow population of worm more and more okay worms also we can sell the worms we can sell the compost also this is a very important for a farm if we, have, we can use if you have the farming okay landscaping create the compost for tea uh, this all okay where plantation tea plantation okay this home vermiculture this majorly canada italy japan india malaysia and uh, united kingdom you know, some cold region they are not using we can uh, it is difficult to produce the vermi composting okay yes next two main method of uh, vermi composting is uh, windrow method one of the windrow method okay uh, some system is the windrow okay uh, which consists of building the material for the earthworms to live in and act a large bin organic materials are added to it one system windrow system okay so next one another uh, although windrow has no physical barrier to prevent the worms from escaping in the theory they should not uh, should not do the okay abundance uh, of uh, uh, organic matter for the feed on okay this is uh, one process after a windrow is used on a concrete surface to prevent the uh, uh, predator uh, fr from gaining access of the worm population a uh, windrow method compost okay compost uh, turner were developed by the uh, flexer sim jr of the compost corporation in canaan taxes okay this is the one type of uh, this one windrow okay uh, windrow company noted is uh, sustainable cost efficient way for the farmer okay managing dairy waste second lot type of vermi compost system uh is raised bed or flow through systems okay this is the vermi composting and the worm feed an inch of the worm crow uh, uh, across the top of the bed uh, and in the casting and harvested from the below by pulling the uh, breaker bar okay across the large mesh screen from the base of the bed i will show everything in a video one video is there in that i will show the details about this vermi composting how it is done how it is a uh, in the large scale how it is done okay uh, this uh, red worms are uh, surface dwellers uh, constantly moving towards the new food sources the flow through the system uh, eliminates uh, the need of separate worm from the casting before packaging okay uh, uh, the uh, flow through system well suited indoor facilities making them prefer the choice for the operation of colder climate okay it is very difficult in a colder climate some worms only stay in the colder climate okay cold climates okay a cold climate uh, some uh, worms will stay other will uh, most uh, outside okay they will die okay different types of worms are uh, used in different way it is explained in this okay which worms will uh, grow in uh, this was the colder region and uh, the, which uh, depend upon the climate okay okay i will uh, move to the this one video what a large scale of what i explained here that uh, video i will uh, okay i will uh, what uh, how the vermi composting is done in a large scale very important okay i will show the video how vermi composting is done okay this uh, this from organic waste carbon phosphorus related nutrient available in this okay what are the nutrient uh, uh, worms need it is there in the, this one okay in the food waste this worms see this worms uh, we are uh, uh, living this worms they will eat earth worms okay this worms will eat uh, uh, all the food waste they get the nutrient okay it may be phosphorus okay or with the nutrient uh, which is needed they will uh, eat that okay they will eat the waste and they will digest okay they will digest it their excreta okay biogradation take place this is the vermi composting process okay 
and uh, we will go forward okay what are the size and everything we will about the construction this of the size okay uh, we will move forward i will show how to do the uh, this one uh, vermicomposting process in this these are the uh, where they, where these are the plants which is growing growing uh, this one of uh, vermicomposting uh, by the vermicompost this process of vermicomposting okay uh, then we go for uh, how to do the vermicomposting okay then uh, this has a small scale vermicomposting we can do in a concrete uh, be a type of ring okay in this also we can do the vermicomposting in village side we can do this uh, vermicomposting okay this has the vermicomposting used plant they will grow this uh, organic uh, uh, composting used uh, this all the organic composting used uh, vegetable okay without any chemicals okay chemical free okay chemical free vegetables see this uh, they are selling the uh, compost they will get the Uh, money this become the commercial okay see so these are the black color compost you can see this is a vermi compost okay further we will go for the uh, different uh, these are the organic vegetable organic fruits it has a lot of demand nowadays okay without chemicals we are eating uh, chemical vegetable chemical food uh, chemical uh, we are contaminated uh, breathing in the air Uh, contaminated drinking the contaminated uh, water okay and polluted air we are breathing so uh, nowadays uh, we are uh, using okay without chemical we are preferring without chemical to reason uh, to hygienic uh, this one for health okay nowadays we are using we are uh, mainly preferring this organic composting okay organic food see organic vegetable organic everything we are without chemical okay now it is lot of chemicals are used for making the uh, fruits we are pesticides we are using the pesticides that also chemical okay these are the earthworm you can see the earthworm these are the organic uh, uh, food waste food waste okay this okay we have to spray the water for that okay and this is the process of uh, vermi composting okay large scale okay we will do the vermi compost how it will done in a, it may be in a village you can start in the village or city in a near the uh, dump yard we can okay these are the worms earthworm hybrid earthworm okay asina floridia okay uh, this all okay different types of worm from the outer country uh, from the outside the country these are the hybrid worms okay uh, they are uh, eating more and more uh, organic uh, 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 for waste eh? okay this is the very important these are the worm okay different types of worm as shown there okay different types of worm okay this used okay and uh, how to uh, see these are the uh, this uh, organic uh, waste okay dry leaves okay grasses husk rice husk okay uh, different types of uh, this is, this may be cobs weeds or uh, okay these are used okay for the this one okay vermi composting can be used okay these are the food material okay then we go for uh, this one see here uh, how they are doing the this uh, process okay see yeah this is the person who is constructing the vermi composting pit okay or vermi composting pit and he have done the this uh, one uh, pit with the, okay next next we go for uh, how do how to construct uh, this one the process if you don't mind okay this is the okay uh, lime powder this all the material used for the construction of uh, that uh, pit uh, yeah you can see that tools what are used okay this uh, this are the tools used okay and uh, we need a little bit okay these are the bricks and cement are used how they are working for the uh, construction of a uh, okay vermi composting okay these are the material used for uh, vermi composting okay methods of preparation of vermi composting okay it may be ring method shed method different methods are there small method okay uh, different types are there okay i will go further we'll see the different method how to construct 
vermi composting pit okay these are the plants uh, worm compo vermi composting used plants it is uh, shown okay these are the uh, okay um, these are the rings uh, we are use a uh, uh, small way in the villages we are use earthworms okay these are the large scale vermi composting in the villages uh, okay these are the pits are uh, used okay now we will see the how to construct this easy way to construct see how he is uh, constructing the this is a uh, uh, vermi composting uh, pit okay vermi composting pit okay this is the see size they will uh, uh, make the size of the this one okay see the procedure of construction they will uh, measure the this one okay and uh, they will construct uh, this one they will make the this one okay soil compact okay they will construct with the, by the brick see how in the village they are they are constructing from the bricks okay brick constructing from the brick and uh, the they will construct and inside that they will uh, see how they are constructed and uh, shed is needed okay direct temperature sunlight will uh, should not fall on it okay at uh, the worms will may die or uh, temperature may be increased in some of the region okay this is the see process they will add the water they will a uh, food waste okay they will uh, add the water they will uh, okay turn turn it okay and uh, they will uh, moisture okay they daily they will spray the water to that they will check how the worm and gunny bag they will put the gunny bag above that okay then after uh, okay so for 45 days it may be depend upon the slurry or cow dung slurry uh this uh, for the how the nutrient uh, get to the this one this is they will sieve finally they will sieve the uh, sieve process and they will pack and uh, they will sell that this is the process of uh, vermi composting okay vermi composting this uh, this is the process uh, of uh, vermi composting okay this video will show the uh, total how to construct the pit and uh, how to um, how to use the food waste in that and how to uh, use the uh, worms in that and uh, how the worms will grow and uh, how the uh, this one uh, the how the composting is done and sieving and packing everything shown in the this video okay what are the this uh, what are the material used for this composting uh, food material this one organic uh, waste and what are the worms are using everything is shown in the vermi composting that's the important process nowadays it is a very important now what is the advantage of uh, vermi composting okay very important what is the advantage of uh, okay see in mechanical composting uh, there is a, uh, it may be fast in one or two uh, six days it may be uh, we will get the compost now in vermi compost more nutrient are availability nutrient are more no leaching okay no leaching in it no pollution okay no pollution okay in this no pollution no leaching leaching i will tell you leachate what is leachate in a further next slide what is leachate more nutrient availability for the crops growing the crops and everything okay no problem uh, pollution pollution less improve the soil property by adding uh, this vermi organic composting improve the soil property okay improve the small uh, soil property contain more pgr and enzymes more enzymes okay it can be used for vermi compost is plantation okay and the, okay vermi compost is and everything okay and next slide okay we will go for further requires less place okay we will get in a larger scale if you do employment and money okay it is a good commercial okay better use of waste better use of waste and improve the quality of the fruits and vegetables improve the quality of the fruits and vegetable very very important no chemicals in this chemical less it improve the quality of fruits and vegetable okay better use of waste we can we have a clean environment zero okay zero waste we can 
if everyone do this vermicomposting in their house, their apartment, in a bin or anything, okay, we be, uh, all the waste, uh, okay, less waste available, available for the municipality to uh, collection or uh, this one, that is very helpful, okay, for uh, our uh, dream of our uh, Prime Minister may come true, okay, Swachya Bharata and uh, Smart City. Okay, if you all do the this composting in our house uh, for for your uh, uh, any coconut trees, we can use for for your gardens, everything we can use. Okay, less space is available available for this. This is a one of the very cheap process, less uh, money uh, investment for this. Okay, if you in a large scale, if you do, it is a business. Okay, lot of uh, demand is there for this per kg. It may be 45, 50 rupees. Okay. 10 kg 500 rupees bag everything is available it is used okay now disadvantage of uh, vermicomposting this one it is very uh, this one disadvantage composting takes time okay uh, mechanical composting uh, 4 to 5 6 days the composting will be done okay it will take time composting takes time okay Odor can be the problem, the smelling may be the problem, okay, this is one of the problem, okay. High maintenance, we have to maintain properly, okay, high maintenance, so we have to maintain that worms, okay, they should have the proper temperature, should maintain proper temperature and moisture and uh, this one, okay, uh, the moisture and uh, the flies and birds. Okay, it may be rat may come and eat that. Okay, many things we have to maintain it. Okay, very difficult to maintain. Uh, then pest and pathogen problems in this. Okay, pathogen problem it is very very dangerous. Uh, this one we are, should not use this uh, pest and pathogen problems. Okay, if uh, bacteria are there, this is a problem. Careful harvesting is uh, very very important. Harvesting, careful harvesting. We have to maintain the proper harvest okay this is the uh, careful harvest this are the disadvantage maintenance this uh, pathogenic we have to there is a problem of uh, birds uh, small animals they will eat the worms worms are the main in this vermicomposting if you, they eat the population of worm is decreases it is a problem for uh, for the composting okay this is our disadvantage okay this one uh, you know, this first uh, in India we started uh, composting indoor in our uh, state uh, in uh, indoor it was uh, first they will start this way indoor composting okay it is uh, indoor composting the process of uh, indoor composting okay uh, indoor comp in India first started okay then uh, Bangalore method of composting this is also Bangalore method of composting in this uh, uh, another method, Bangalore method. Okay, this all this method may be used in Bangalore also. Nowadays, this is a Bangalore method. That is another state indoor methods. Okay, and uh, this one, this one uh, aerated state pile method. Okay, they will rotate and uh, they will. This is the another method of uh, aerated static pile method. Okay, this is the method. You can see the cover layer. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, this is the this are the pile. They will turn it. They rotate. Okay, preserve. This is the pile method. These are the different types of uh, uh, aerated static piles methods. Okay, these are the types uh, of uh, composting. Okay, many composting. Uh, then vermicomposting is major. Uh, okay, all are using this uh, vermicomposting. My suggestion is uh, use the vermicomposting bin in your house, okay, uh, and uh, you put the food waste in that worms, and you will get the okay in 20, 30, 40 days you will get the manure. You can use for this manure for okay for the uh, your uh, garden or any farms. On you can give for uh, the uh, your neighbors or anything. Okay, this. Uh, this one problem is there. See, this is the problem. It's small problem. Uh, I will show in slides only. Okay, 
a mixture of paper, newspaper, potentially composted material, mass 6 ton. Amount of uh, moisture contained in it 5 percent. It required the mixture process of uh, composting moisture contained 50 percent. It need 50 percent, it have only 5 percent. How much? Okay, find the amount of waste or wastewater sludge to be added for the solid of a obtain the desired constant of the moisture if the start for process of composting. Okay. There is a 6 tons of composted material. Okay. It have only 5 percent of moisture. Okay. It have only 5 percent. At least it need 50 percent. How much sludge is added for the this one? Okay. We have to find how much sludge, how much ton of sludge is added water or sludge or wastewater sludge to be added okay, for the um, bringing the moisture okay, in to 50 percent. Okay. This is the one of the problem. Okay. You can see given data, okay, given data it is see given data is uh, x a is equal to 6 ton this much of uh, uh, materials are there uh, composting material. It is a moisture content of that material is 5 percent. Uh, to a real it will require 50 percent. Okay. It will require 50 percent, it have only 5 percent. Okay. We have to say how much sludge should be added to bring the moisture content to 50 percent for uh, 6 tons, okay. how much it should be added. Okay. Now, see this is the formula we use M p is equal to M a x a plus 100 x yes x s plus x a okay m p given 50 okay and 5 into 6 plus 100 x s okay this is the final answer 5.4 tons from the water sludge is used okay understood okay this this is the formula we should use okay okay given data is there what is 6 ton is a uh, compost okay uh, it have uh, see uh, 5 okay percent of uh, moisture okay and uh, it re need 50 percent okay it need 50 percent okay by the calculation uh, how much sludge water sludge to be added okay 5.4 ton by the calculation okay this 50 percent 5 into 6 100 into x we get this much this is the process, uh, this is the numerical problem in this. Okay. This, uh, this is uh, okay. this you, you can uh, yeah, easy method of uh, calculation if you know this one, okay. this can be easily. Okay. Yes. okay, we will uh, this is the okay. okay. Uh, thank you. So, next uh, slides. Okay. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, next, uh, I will uh, continue sanitary landfilling.